Hello, what and all, this is one of the tacos. Welcome back to Let's Play Dungeons of Dreadmore. I'm doing a third Dungeons video after I did all the other videos this week, including the Dawn of War stuff. But I'm doing a third one because I need another video to upload to the channel. So might as well make it a Dreadmore one. Um, after a Windows update forced my computer to reboot, Hexen is still not working at all, but um, the taskbar finally stopped fapping around so I could uh, return the game back to its normal resolution, so that's been fixed. Hexen, however, still has not been fixed. Don't know if Hexen will ever get fixed. I really, really need to stop. Wow, I didn't even see that. And I got an atom. Hmm. I really, really need to stop delaying it and just go online and see if I can find anything. Like, just information irrelevant to the update, just stuff in general of how to get uh, Hexen 2 uh, uploading. Chances are it's not really gonna result in me finding anything, so it's kind of the reason why I haven't bothered yet. I doubt I'm gonna find anything. Kill it. Gold, emeralds, bash it open. I am apparently out of lock fix because I have to resort to bashing things now. You don't want to have to try to bash things open. Bashing things open almost always succeeds, unless it's a door, in which case you can hurt yourself trying to get it open. And if it's a chest, there is a possibility that you will permanently break or damage the objects inside, thus making it worthless. Oh. Did not know my inventory was apparently full already. So I'll break this statue and then go. Nope, another diggle. Two more diggles. Come here, diggles. Thank you. Smash that. Smash that, and then we're gonna leave. We are going to go to the portal dimension, I think. Uh, actually, we probably just need to go to a shop. Well, the portal dimension will allow me to drop off enough stuff that I can pick this stuff up. Might as well check and see if there's a portal over here. There's not. Whoop. Didn't mean to try to pull that again. It's stuck, so it wouldn't pull. Kill the murderous Ubega and figure out what's got there. And disarm that. I might be able to carry those? No? Okay. So we are going to warp. We're going to warp back here and move some stuff. Might as well stack the gems, or I mean, at the very least, put the gems down. We're probably going to need gems at some point. We will put... Actually, no, I'll hold on to the Potion of Matic because that's a pretty good emergency situation kind of item. Plastic ring won't sell for much, but might end up becoming a valuable item to craft with. Put the cylinder down. Potion of Midas. Don't know if I had one of those yet, but I'll put that down there now. I think the rest of this we'll just try to sell. Maybe put the uh, the ring down and the belt, and we'll leave. And now we'll try to take all this stuff as we leave and head to the nearest shop because I've got stuff I want to sell. Also, uh, kicking open doors can result in them permanently breaking, which means you cannot close them again. Not much of a good thing. You usually want to be able to close doors again. We're going to figure out where this goes. Can't hurt. We are exactly where I was kind of wanting it to be. Wonderful! 
Sometimes you get lucky. Didn't think there was anything in here we wanted. I cannot see at all. That's something we're really gonna have to mark on. Blind as a bat. Right. Selling a lot of this stuff. Just looking. We could sell the potato just to make space. Potatoes aren't very good healing sources. I'm holding on to all this cheese because I want to figure out how to make that one cheese recipe. There was also that one meat recipe, so I'll hold on to the aged steak. So all that. Boom! Inventory space. And now we just take this back, and we're pretty much exactly where we wanted to be. Ooh, a staff class weapon. Oh, I think it's not hostile. I'm gonna kill it anyways. I hate those things. It's always a good idea to kill them because they're gonna inconveniently walk on a trap like these one day. And then just trigger when you don't want them to, so. So when I take this, guards are going to come running. Let's see. Let's count the damage to begin with. Two, six, seven damage. And then two resistance. Two, four damage. The mat I don't care about and the improved trap sight radius. We're going to take it, but not equip it. The guards come running. A bunch of mummies. That one we're gonna hit with the seismic uppercut. Just to make sure. And then they run. Let me just close that door there. That way you have nowhere to run. Come on. Get back here. You cornered yourself. And then it fights to the last once it has nowhere to run to. Bobby, you're a slimy thing. Bobby. Kill that. Kill that. That's what happens when you don't have any lockpicks. <clears throat> there is one uh, power or one character choice that I'm aware of that uh, if you take it, there's an ability on it where you can just generate uh, lockpicks. It's actually really useful. But that, I don't have that one. That's one of the, the thievish ones. Lots of diggle eggs. Mushrooms. Pick up the diggle eggs. I actually want to go backwards and finish clearing this room because I did just kind of leave it. Smash that. Kill the AI. And grab the club. And we're gonna have to kill this white. Especially because it's in the way. And it hit us with a spell that further reduces our vision. Not good. Now we're gonna go up here. Angry Diggle. And lots of bookshelves. And we will try to get rid of that. And fail completely. A really, really holy shield. I don't have any Electrum. I 
I don't have any diamonds. Actually, I think I do have diamonds, but I don't have the coat of denim. Batty! We'll try to get rid of that. And fail. And trigger another one. The Mace of Windu. <laughs> One of the one of my more favorite items, I think. Now we have pulled quite a few switches, so we're gonna take this because we know it leads over here, and then we are going to have to walk all the way over here, and we're gonna try that Uber chest along the way. Left the door behind us, and we're gonna go get that Uber chest. Open! It did open. Revealing garbage. Not literal garbage, but pretty close to literal garbage. And crack open the door. And enemies. Kill that. I believe this is our first side quest of this level. Too busy picking up items to fight properly. I will pray. You must use the item on the shrine. Which he gives me. I don't think I've seen the shrine yet. No, I don't remember if I see it. Take a while to kick open that door. Kill the rutabaga. Kill the blobby. Didn't even know we were there. Just wandered into our space. Kill the diggle. Bash the chest. Ooh, a sandwich. Long haul, eh? Fish in a very long and narrow barrel. Kill the diggle. Take the egg. Kick the door. Kill the diggle. Kill the samdi. Kill the bat. Kill the zombie. A green diggle. They are now running away. I'm not going to bother chasing them down. I could do that. Ow. In case you haven't noticed, I do not usually drink from the fountains unless I'm feeling very, very desperate. In my experience, there's more often bad stuff in the fountains than positive stuff. Well, we know that's there now. Question is, can it reach us? No. Well, maybe. The world may never know, because I smashed that thing. It has to be right at the other end of this door. Yeah. And I walked into a dumb trap. And then walked into a diggle. By all means, come at me. Well done. Back down the long hall. Doesn't appear to be too much to this floor left. Uh oh. Bad enemy. We'll be encountering more of those later on. Kill the death. Kill the blob. Kill the blobby. Kill the mummy. Whoop. Move instead. Is there a... Uh, disable click to move. Yes, actually that's what I would like. Because I am getting a little tired of that. I use the arrow keys to move. There's a Skyrim reference. Skyrim came out years after this game came out. 
the developers kept adding stuff, which is nice. It's a good thing. Ah, uh, claimed an artifact. They are up there now. And there's the shrine. Stop using magics. Only jerks use magic. Stop it! I did not know that was a teleported one. Not that I'm complaining. Man, this guy has a lot of health. Come on. Of course he saw me first. Huh. <sighs> This guy's really getting on my nerves. Now I've got a teleport to get to him. There is no telefragging. And he's gonna continue to use magics on me. Stop! You are annoying! Die! Still alive! Die! Crap, I missed. Die! That's just gonna keep not doing anything. Gelat this wand! Thank you. Stay dead. Now, where's that thing you're supposed to use? It is. I get that. Is it any good? What do I lose? I lose three armor and two of that. They gain not too much in turn. Basically, we don't want. I do want to come over here and grab the hat. What is that? Is that a trap? Nope, that's super. Now we have to go all the way up there to, to those guys. Eventually. Might as well finish this way. See how that one died in one hit and didn't teleport around for five hours? I like that. I want more of that. Apparently it can't penetrate the chest, so might as well try to do that from there. And take care of that. And try to take care of that. It didn't work. We are now nearly done with this floor. I should stop at that shop while I'm up there. Hello, Genie. Or in this instance, just a Jijin. I don't think Jin is usually spelt with a D, so the fact that the D's there makes me just think it's Jin. Ah, uh, make this better. Okay. Gain damage. Visual sight radius, which will help. And then I gain two to whatever stat that is. I can't even tell what that is. Unless that's supposed to be more. I think that is more damage. And then three to what? Magic resistance. Yeah, we'll put it on for now. Where am I going? This way. Actually, no. Let's go up 
so we can sell. Oh, and I didn't even notice we were at the 20 minute mark. I'm gonna hold on to that. The rest of this, I'm gonna go ahead and save off here. Getting tired of holding on to stuff. So let's just sell it. Well, when we come back, folks, more of this. I don't know what I'm going to do about Hexen. I'll probably try to have a look at some answers up between now and the next Dreadmore video. So, thank you all for watching. This is Wano Butaku signing off, and I'll see you later. Take care and bye-bye.